Williams wants a great team in the months or days. Now it's time to return it to his former glory. Slights out and away we go for round one in this RTG clinic. Can we do it? We're gonna wait for it. Send it straight down the inside. But Juvenaz is gonna cut us back. And what a camera angle this is. We're side by side through the tyre S section. Down the hill. We force him wide and off the track. But onto the final lap. Can Lewis Hamilton do it? Or can Daniel Ricciardo hold on on the final lap? Lewis Hamilton goes round the outside of Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo tries to force him wide, but Lewis Hamilton has the bravery to send him round the outside. And on the final lap of this Bahrain Grand Prix, goes into the lead. Look at the Monza trainers down the inside, guys. Goes Kimi Raikkonen. We try to hold him round the outside, but there's contact. Kimi Raikkonen has been spun round. There's an engine failure for Giovinazzi. Carlos Sainz in his Ferrari. On oh, he's out of the. Look at that. Carlos Sainz is out. Jeff told us he was out and said, What has happened to Carlos Sainz here? And he's lost it, he's dropped it, and he's absolutely gone straight on into the barrier. And there's contact with him. Kimmy's round again. Kimmy's in the wall. And Nikita Mazda pins out of the race. And Mick Schumacher has been caught up in that as well. And Kimmy Raikkonen, for the second time this race, he's got his front wing ripped off here at Monza. And there's Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez is out of the race. And... Charles Leclerc has hit him as well as we are witnessing an historical Grand Prix because Lewis Hamilton wins it and makes and gives himself his record breaking 8th world title and we are going to get Williams first podium in a long time we came so close to points in Monza but we get a podium in Singapore it's the second season of the Williams RTG career mode. It's a big gas is going slow in Vettel. Just hit him. And Lance Stroll has hit his teammate and the Ferrari is. And a little whack there as well. And the lights went out and they got a pretty good start side by side. We also tried to send it down the inside but there's yellow flags and the front wing went flying. Because Sebastian Vettel hits someone and for the second race in a row he is out of the Grand Prix. Through the corner and I absolutely dropped it on the on the exit. Yuki Sonoda got caught up in it as well. I've got my front wing ripped off here today to start season three. Paris this time sends it right around the outside and Perez has lost it and Verstappen has hit him. The Red Bulls have collided here at Imola. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pit. And we're out. And there were some big, big points. Currently P9 and after the okay, disappointment we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. It's happened again. Oh, you're on the points as well. God's sake. Down the pit straight. And Sebastian Vettel going into the garage again. He's out and he's been hit by the Alfa Romeo of Lungard. We go now then we didn't really want to wait for Tate Georgia, we were just holding back and Carlos Sainz has hit the back of us. His front wing has been ripped off and he's decided the VSC is out and Carlos Sainz is out of the Grand Prix as Charles the Third pits and now here comes Esteban Ocon on us, he caught us up. We push him right off the track and he's overtaken nearly overtaken us there surely have to give it a position if he hadn't I've put it in the barrier and now Esteban Ocon he's out into the first one 
and we went a little bit wide and you just know this pins and that's a massive crash I just, I'm Tony and Gina Nazi drives over the top there of the, uh, the Alpha Tauri as we are going to send it straight down the inside into turn 1 have to avoid the Alfa Romeo through the opening couple of corners and the Alfa Tauri is round and we've seen our chance and we've sent it side by side can we get through with an incredible start round the outside skipping on further around the lap he's trying again Perez we force him wide and Sainz is touched the back of him and Sainz is out of the Mexican Grand Prix as here he comes again he's very much trying to miss out just Verstappen crashes out he's dropped it and that's a horrendous place to be in the middle of the track as George hits him for the first time in this career mode legitly as Perez tries to spoil it it is or was a Williams 1-2 and this is real this isn't pit stops we are generally on fighting now for a win as there's Charles Leclerc one Ferrari's already out Leclerc has spun it he reverses onto the track and he's clipped he's clipped by Mick Schumacher we may be three seasons in but in real life it's 2022 which means it's been a decade since Williams last won and the first win for Williams since 2012 with Pastor Maldonado we win the Mexican Grand Prix Fantastic. you've won the Grand Prix the nine rounds of freaking racing but today we find out who will be world champion for season three it's between Verstappen, Perez, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas here are the points one point between Perez and Verstappen ten points ahead of Hamilton and pretty much Bottas needs a miracle 25 points behind but we come on to the end Bottas has done everything he needed to do he wins the Grand Prix Hamilton second but it's this man Sergio Perez who is champion of the world it's been a great season but at the end of the day it belonged to Sergio Perez for the start of the new season for season 4 it is in his conditions so we will now be in the net lead of the Grand Prix and they're now towards the final two corners as long as we can keep it out to the final barrier we are going to round the final corner it's the one they all want to win and we've done it we win the Monaco Grand Prix but here comes Duke he's on the back of us and there's Gasly did you see in the right bottom right of screen it was Charles Leclerc and here he comes now, you can see Pierre Gasly and Charles Leclerc is out of the Italian Grand Prix. What has happened to George as he picks? So did Bottas. Do you have these two come together? Yes, they have. No, unless there's a problem. I was say, unless there's drama and there was in the background. We can allow Charlie's put it in the wall. I remember what happened last year after Canada and after what happened here when he sent it and damaged our front wing. He's got to say Carlos Sainz. And now we're going to pull back to the inside. We're going to squeeze him to the hand of Forgotten. And then there's, there's Carlos Sainz. He's in the wall. And now here we go. Oh, we've dropped it. Like we did earlier in the race. We've been here by the Alfa Romeo. And we are out in the Brazilian Grand Prix. No, we can't quite get him. Gasly went up the road. And now we've gone off the track. We've gone wide. We've spun. We've copied and pasted what Carlos Sainz did. And now we've come back onto the track. And that's a huge crash. That's an absolutely huge crash. That was Lance Stroll. That was an Alfa Romeo. And now we are going to pull over to retire. From the Australian Grand Prix. Hello and welcome to my Williams Road to Glory career mode here today for the very final episode 
in this area. Three to back three, you can see though. And now George to there's a mistake. And now to the outside. We're on the outside. We're on the outside. We take the lead and up to the line. And it's back to back wins in Monaco. As we go through the chain. We're a little bit wide. And there's Max up in the far inside. And now though. Towards the end of the second lap, we're going to meet him again. And then up to the final corner, front of chicane, side by side, drop down into the lead. Then, we're going to win the Canadian Grand Prix. Glide down and away we go. And Max Verstappen and down into Abbey, beats us off the line. The crowd side. They want a British driver to win this, and so do I. As here we go into Brooklyn's down the inside of Max Verstappen and we take the lead of the British Grand Prix final corner and we're going to win the British Grand Prix for the first time Yellow flag going, here we go though Gaz is up the inside, Gaz is off the track Gaz is in the wall and Gaz is out of the Grand Prix I've decided to take a risk though, Campbell and go on to the softs for the last couple of laps. He's going to step back into his slipstream. And now on the outside. And now we go flying into turn one. And this pissed up onto the softs. Has been absolutely wonders for us. George has pretty much led every single lap. But we are going to make it another win in a row. We force him out. We've spun. We've done a beautiful pirouette. And Latifi's scientist, Latifi, Latifi, it's me. And the VSC has been deployed. And Delta time, Perez, going very slowly as we go round the outside of him. Uh, down the inside of Lance Stroll we go. No. Here we go, everyone's slowing down. Everyone's slowing down! Pink gas is just blown and everyone is just keeping up behind him and it's been an excellent comeback drive from B as we win the Japanese Grand Prix and with Roger we made a mistake we've gone off the track we spun round and we hit the wall no just like Japan we've lost it this time more costly Okay, looks like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that. Five. We were five laps away from our first driver's title. So it's a time to decide then. Here in Abu Dhabi. But down into the chicane, Max Verstappen has spun. He lost it right in front of us and we didn't need the arrest. Because Max has lost it on his own. George Russell did everything he needed to do, but he didn't get the fastest lap. We are going to round the final corner to be F1 World Champions.